the activity called modeling so as to improve their physics learning now type in into the google search key uh, for example something like look like this static and kinetic friction model html5 and do a search then you will find that the on the first hit it should be the resource that we are hoping to get uh, students and teachers to use okay so for example in this particular simulation that runs on the handphone and i'm demoing on my note 3 phone so for example uh, what some of the activities that the student can use this for will be to model in order to understand the physics a little bit better so as an example let's take the case where there is no net force uh, exerted on the orange block so when there's no force well we would expect that if you were to run the simulation you would expect it the time to run but at the same time there will be no movement on the object so as an initial starter we want students to model for example uh, zero force so if there is no force uh, on acting on the object the model should represent the motion of the rectangular orange block as well so you can see that the model of net zero force seems to represent the motion quite well even after running for eight seconds so this will be for the case of no net force where there is no pushing force now this is where things start to get a little bit more difficult for students so for example if there is a slight push so using your hand you can slide change the slider value for the push so let's choose a value let's say 3.3 .3, and let's say there's a, this particular force that's pushing on the object now what do you think will happen if you click play so as predicted by Newton's second law, you can see that the net force, which is actually the push, subtracting the static friction. Let me see whether I can make get a better view of the entire thing. So let's click, let's activate. Let me reset this again. Uh, so click on the entire screen so that you can see this a little bit better. So let's say this is now. 3.3 I'm using my handphone to look at this so if there's a slight push of 3.3 you notice that the, the push will always be balanced by the static friction now this happens all the way until the static friction can no longer balance the pushing force so it's, it's somewhere around 4.9 now why is it 4.9 I'll leave it for you to figure out uh, but the activity that we hope students can do with the guidance of the teacher will be to allow them to model again a particular force so uh, choosing a force equal to zero again oh I, I see I chose uh, a force too large so let's say you, you chose uh, 3.6 or 3.7 and with a model of uh, zero force click play Notice again that the model of zero net force in the x direction can represent the motion of the simulated data of a block that is on top of a green slope. So you can find that after even some time, the simulation and the model that the student built, which is a zero net force case, does seems to, uh, to be in complete agreement. Now, so moving on, uh, this is where things start to be get a little bit more difficult for students and teachers. So now we want students to now select a slightly larger force. So you can find that it balances somewhat. But until a particular value, let's say 4.9, you notice that the force now can no longer by balance, cannot be balanced by the frictional force. So if the push is 6.1, the frictional force is only 4.9. So you find that it will no longer be in equilibrium as indicated by the hint over here. And there will be a net force of 1.195. Uh, 
Now, but the the truth of the matter is when the object starts to move, so to simulate this, we do a time step of a uh, plus a step one or step two. So now when you have moved by a little bit, you notice that the kinetic friction kicks in. So the kinetic friction will of a, be of a slightly lesser value and we want student to now be able to key in the model. So 4.138 as the force that will act on the object. Keep the keyboard again and you can now simulate you can now keep click on the play button and hopefully uh, in this demonstration you can see that the force and the simulated data seems to be in somewhat of an agreement uh, the disagreement is because of the starting time but other than that uh, I have made sure that the simulation is able to simulate this in a rather accurate manner so with that activity, the nutshell is the big picture, the big idea of this activity is to allow students to come up with this big idea where we talk about the conditions for acceleration will be the presence of a non-zero net force, which essentially is Newton's second law, uh, F equal to ma. So with that, uh, thank you very much for listening.